Some Papillion La Vista Middle School students will walk into a brand new school for the first time tomorrow. But the big question is, will the school be ready for them? Construction workers have been racing against the clock in order to get the new Liberty Middle School ready for the first day of school. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. The school will open on time, but the work will not be done. Reporter Emily Zink is live near 108th and Highway 370 with details. Emily. Well, guys, crews have been working day and night to try to get this middle school complete. Unfortunately, some things will be missing tomorrow, but I'm told what's most important is the classrooms are done and the teachers are excited for a new school year. And this was a, nothing but a field, right? Two years ago, this was just dirt. As Papillion La Vista continues to grow, its school district must keep up. I think it's pretty crowded and I think it's just going to keep growing. In 2012, a multi-million dollar bond issue helped pay for both the new elementary and middle school for the district. 18 months ago, work began on Papillion La Vista's third middle school. We got an email saying that it wasn't going to be open until the first day, so and we just assumed that they were running behind. One Liberty Middle School parent was shocked by what he walked into on Monday. Concrete floors and ladders everywhere. It just looks like a hard hat area. Rick Berg says he would have liked his son to start seventh grade in a finished school, but delaying the start was not an option for the district. You don't make that option. You don't tell the guys that their option. We're pushing it back a day or two or a week. Nope. You're going to make it work. John Brennan, the director of building and grounds, says finding quality contractors to get jobs done in a timely fashion was the biggest obstacle. The kitchen, gym, and a lot of the flooring throughout the school won't be complete when kids arrive Tuesday. It's not what we want. But we're going to get what we need. There you go, sir. District spokeswoman Annette Iman says there were areas of the building that took priority for completion. The classrooms are done. While some parents are concerned about the school not being complete, many are not. It will be fine. They'll still learn. They'll figure it out. It'll be memorable. Iman says the building might not be 100% ready. But the teachers are. What really matters is your teachers and the staff in this building are so excited to be here. As for that kitchen, this school will actually bring in food from other schools throughout the district, so that won't be an issue. And when it comes to gym class, it's nice outside, so they could use the track that is already complete. Live in Papillion La Vista, Emily Zink, KMTV Action 3 News.